Good morning, John. It's Friday. I'm sitting here in my usual spot, but with an unusual camera. This is a VidCon 2010 flip camera. There were like 10 or 20 of these made. I actually did the design on the front of the camera. Thank you very much to Barry Carr, who got this flip cam at VidCon 2010 and gave it to me as a present in celebration of 10 years of VidCon. It's like taking pictures of the Polaroid camera. It really feels like of another era. Uh, for example, <laughs> I love that. John, among the many things that of course happened at VidCon, the most important, the thing everybody wants to see is yes, I crushed the gush. A while back I uploaded a video on Vlogbrothers that was meant for Hank's channel. It was like four minutes and two seconds long. So I had to get punished. And the punishment I settled on because of a weird thing that I have with gushers is that I would drink the gush juice. Turns out there's not a lot of juice per gusher, so I needed help. And I got it in the form of these nice people who squeezed gushers into cups for most of the live episode of Dear Hank and John that we did on the stage at VidCon. And then... <laughs> So right there, right that moment, something interesting happened inside of my mouth. I knew that it was gonna be very sweet, but I didn't know that it was gonna be extremely sour. Like it's both, but it it's very sour. The first sensation is kind of a weight because it's it's kind of heavy and it doesn't like move around like water does. So it's sort of like slapped into my tongue. The second sensation was my salivary glands responding to the sourness of it and immediately releasing the maximum amount of saliva that they could. You gotta, you gotta swallow it. It does not count if you don't swallow it. Just get it down. Oh! It was like jacuzzi jets of saliva. It was helpful though because it would have been very difficult to swallow the gush because it's so thick without all that added liquid. What I was actually swallowing was like spit gush. And then I went back, I don't know, cause I was on stage and like people had worked really hard to squeeze all this gush out of gushers for a second helping. Questionable. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh! Ah, oh. uh, yeah, and then like a piece oh. flew, fell off the top of the gush cup into my glasses, which made me panic a little bit. So I knew that drinking the gush was gonna be bad, but I did not realize that having drunk the gush was going to be worse. Partially because my stomach was just very upset. <laughs> Extremely acidic. I would love to know the pH of gush juice. The crash came quickly and and lasted for the rest of the day. And of course to my crew of lovely gush milkers, you're the best, thank you for your support. Additional things that are happening, one, John and I are going on a very short tour in Madison, Wisconsin in Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're gonna do live podcasts, me and Catherine are gonna do one, John is gonna do Anthropocene Reviewed and we're gonna do a live Dear Hank and John. We're calling it a Minotaur because it's a mini tour and also because Steve the Minotaur will be giving a short lecture. There's more expensive tickets for people who wanna meet us afterward and all the money we make is gonna go to support our community's work improving maternal health in Sierra Leone. Also, SciShow just released its first documentary film. It's discussing whether Apollo was actually a good idea in celebration of Apollo's 50th anniversary. And to celebrate that, we've got a mission patch, and we're also doing a new pin every month celebrating a different space mission. We're starting off celebrating Apollo. There's two different colors. They're standard and glow in the dark. They're the same price. That's all the things. Can't wait to see people next month in Minneapolis and Madison. John, I'll see you on Tuesday. Day. There's gusher on my glasses. Oh my god, it's like still dripping off. Ugh. I guess. <laughs> These are the milk gushers. Oh, that's so horrifying. <laughs>